Japan is one of the top three automotive markets in the world, but look at cars on the road and you might notice something missing. American cars. Imported cars can be found just about anywhere, but these are mainly European brands. US President Donald Trump has publicly accused Tokyo of undermining US auto sales in Japan. He, along with many in the United States, blamed Japanese tariffs, taxes, and trade policies for the poor sales of American cars. But it doesn't seem to be the point. One of the common arguments against Japan is that Japan has tariffs against imports from the United States. Um, but in reality, it's the, actually the reverse. The United States has import tariffs against cars and trucks coming from Japan, whereas Japan has no tariffs at all against the United States. The openness of Japan's auto market is clear when you take note that seven of the top 20 selling brands are imports, but demand for US-made brands is so small that just sales of BMW's lowest price car alone far outsells all American models combined. The thing to remember about American cars in Japan is that they have an image problem more than anything else. Whereas the Germans and Europeans come in here with a little bit of cachet, a little bit of, of uh, extra uh, selling power because of their uh, luxury routes, think, of, uh, think about uh, Mercedes or BMW uh, or even Volkswagen. The Americans here have a bad reputation that's a hangover from the 1980s and 1990s when the cars that they were churning out really weren't the best. Japanese consumers tend to be brand loyal. After having a bad reputation for a couple of decades, it may take just as long for American cars to change their image and convince Japanese consumers to give them another chance. While spotting an American car on Japanese roads may be like finding a needle in a haystack, many in the U.S. are hoping to change that under the new Trump administration. However, most experts doubt that any political plays will have any effect on American car sales in Japan. Albert Siegel, Press TV, Tokyo.